half the day and we've seen a lot of temples and we're just looking at what we can do for tomorrow so we'll probably have more energy and stuff to walk to all the temples because there's a lot here and then we went for a wee swim and just chilled out and now we're going to go to the nighttime market it's literally outside the hotel and it looks amazing it's only on for tonight so we're going to go try some of the local food and stuff so this is our room It's so lovely and the service here was amazing. It's the whole Thai experience. It's even got the mosquito net and it's got air con but the room is just so lovely. It's actually quite big as well and um, for what we're paying and this is a shower and you get little soaps and stuff but it's so lovely. It was, I can't believe how cheap it was. Obviously bring your mosquito repellent because we've had a couple of bites but it's got the mosquito net to help and the aircon seems good and the beautiful swimming pool as well. second day in Chiang Mai still super super tired I think we're just gonna have another kind of chill day like walk around again some things that we haven't seen and there's a Sunday market on tonight so we're really excited for that try some traditional Thailand local food. food yeah local food and we'll go get like a nice refreshing smoothie to wake us up in Chiang Mai and we're going to go see the elephants today and we're going to go on a water raft and we're also going to see a waterfall and we're so so excited it looks amazing and we booked for get your guide and it was 40 pound per person but lunch is also included and the pick up and drop off um, is also included as well
this is our fourth day. We uh, went to the Grand Canyon. It's like this water park place where it was so fun. We did really love it, but you kind of need to be careful on the jumps because a lot of people were kind of hurting themselves and Ryan was one of them. It's like, just you have to be careful the way you land and the way you sit, but you would know the one we're talking about. But overall, it Apart was yeah, it was a really fun experience. It was only eighteen pound per person, and that was with a zip line included and the entry, and obviously your life jacket and everything like that. But it was really really good. So today's our fifth day in Chiang Mai, uh, we've just kind of chilled out this morning, used the gym um, but today we're going to go see some of the temples that we've not seen within Chiang Mai yet. I can't remember the name of them all but we'll put a note to say where we've been but some of them look really cool. Yeah and I think tomorrow we're going to go see the sticky waterfall and climb up that and we'll probably have a nice Thai traditional dinner tonight as well. <laughs> left Chiang Mai, we're now in Pabi, so our overall experience in Chiang Mai was really good but I think I recommend for like four nights, I feel like that's a good amount of time, we stayed for six nights but the first couple nights, um, it kind of, we got bitten a lot by mosquitoes on the room we were staying because it was just, oh, it was, it was really bad, we were really bitten quite badly so that kind of put us in a bad start but after that we had amazing trips and we had amazing experiences and it was, it was a really beautiful place, beautiful temples and the food was good. So yeah, I recommend but for probably only four nights and it was super cheap as well.